All right, guys, so if you hear little beeps or chirps or anything like that, that's actually my radar. Uh, it's 1.30 in the morning, and there's some pretty severe weather happening right now. It's not quite 1.30, I don't think. Um, well, uh, no, it's just about to turn midnight. Also, if you hear bells and stuff like that, that's my cat. <laughs> this video is super impromptu. I'm normally very much a little more prepped than this. So I have my Sony WF-1000 XM4. Um, so common issue with these guys, battery failure. Um, we're going to do battery replacement. You're going to see me do one live. Um, big thing is to look out at this is basically you're going to be watching me replace this battery but also if the battery or the, your uh earbud this you know one of, of them does not start after the replacement we're going to kind of go over why it happens and troubleshoot it um i work in it so like the ribbon connectors and stuff like that my first thought was oh um you know maybe it was the i tore one or something like that which it wasn't thankfully i had noticed that there was a small issue with my right side earbud, so we're gonna cover this issue now. Um, I'm using a soldering station heat gun. Do not need one. You guys do not need to go out and buy an $80 kit off of Amazon to do this. This is a very much a, you can get a Harbor Freight heat gun and it'll probably work fine. So first things first, we're gonna get heat started. Now, trick with the heat gun is, is you don't really want to get keep it in one spot. You're going to want to try to make sure that you've got this, the whole thing, and just keep rotating it. Kind of like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Except for it's a super expensive ear bud. All right. And you want to get it to where it's just hot enough to where you can't touch it. Now, another thing, too, is do not put heat directly on the driver, the thing that I'm rotating with. I'm so sorry if you could not see that. Um, let's see. All right. Okay, that's off. All right, we're gonna work in here with one of these wedges first. I try to use plastic. There's a reason behind it. People talk about popping these open with pressure, so you can do this. And we'll see if I can get it to, if I can show you on camera. All right, so I did get it to pop. So it's a little hard to do, but I can show you. Excuse me, I got mechanic hands. I work on my cars, so. That little gap, that's what you're going for right there. So you're gonna take that, take an iFixit card, or a little splitter, and just start working that in with the adhesive. Now I'm gonna do my best to kinda of show how this works from a not terrible angle. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna get, get get back in here with some heat. I'm gonna try to make sure I keep it in uh, view this time. Again, this is a lot more impromptu than normal. All right. So the best way I've seen to get in here is just starting at this back part of the bud. And you'll see it that adhesive will wanna split right where you've got it you're applying that heat and just go right along this seam right it all the way down now if you're using a heat gun it'll be a little hot and by a little i mean you'll probably burn yourself a little bit so you know see how i'm just just dropping that and then running that heat over it just because i'm trying to break up that adhesive in there that's really what you're wanting to go for is getting that adhesive broke up once that's broke up you can start really getting this thing cracked open and it's just about ready. All right. OK. 
Okay. <clears throat> Oh yeah, there we go. You'll see it. Hopefully. So I grab, just grab me a little microfiber cloth and then you can just use that. I'm gonna show you in a second. I'm not trying to open it quite yet. I'm just... See how it's splitting right there? Now we're gonna take that and my iFixit pick is on the ground. Cool. All right, so. Backup time. That's why we always keep extra tools just right near you. Because you will forget. You'll drop stuff that's part of it and keeps it fun and interesting until you've dropped your second tool. Then it's not so fun. But you're just going to start working that in. And that's why I don't like the metals. It does mark a little more. So if you really care about the look, which I don't, I care about these working for eight hours a day then it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna grab my fix it pick though now. Yeah, and you can see it. it's coming out. It's working, it just takes a little bit of time. So we're gonna see if we can get in here and just kind of start on this top. Now, mind you, I've not done a whole bunch of these. This is my personal set of earbuds. I daily them every day. I love them, they're great. And Sony's kind of annoying for, not kind of, they, they should have made these batteries work, but it's not really what we're here for. So again, just applying more heat. It's about being consistent. You just don't want to sit there. If you get this too hot and melt plastic, you're making a bigger mess for yourself. So you really just want to take your time with it and get it done right. And you can feel it. it, there's a certain point where you're pushing in on it and there's some give to it. Once you've got that point of give, that's when you know you're gonna be really doing, you'll be, you'll be all right. Um, and also, props to you guys for going in and doing your own repair work. Not a lot of people do this. So we're gonna go through here See, it's just too hot for me to touch, but that's all right. There it goes. I can, you can even hear it going. Yeah, see, we're cutting in now. Oh, I'm out of focus. Hold on. There you go. Boom, all right, we're in. Now what we're gonna do is just take that and start working it. That one little slot is all you're gonna need to start. Don't gotta go crazy. If you got to this part, you, you've gotten past, in my opinion, the one of the hardest parts. I wouldn't say quite the hardest, but we'll see. So, if you get in there, sometimes you got to give it a little more heat, but I don't think we need to do that. Right there, see that little gap? Where we've got it split, just takes a couple times of heating it up. But it's all about being gentle and being patient with it, because if you go tearing up into it, that's when you'll mess up, these set, mess up your set. There you go. Now you just kind of roll it in, and she'll just do the work. You're just cutting through some adhesive that they put in there. It's just for waterproofing, nothing too terrible i'm not going to waterproof mine back don't have the time and i don't have the compound hold on my cat yeah i know all right let's see back where we are there, here also i am trying my best to keep this in focus and in shot it's just a little hard because again this is my personal set i've only done this literally one other time and that's on my other earbud <laughs> but it's not too terribly bad. All right, so that bottom piece that so we've got there, see, so see, we get, we're getting there. Like I said, there's some minor scuffing, but I'm gonna be real. If you've got them in black, you're not gonna notice it, and most people aren't gonna be looking at these because these fit really well into your ear. So we're gonna. 
There we go. But if it does matter, like I said, you can use that plastic pry tool. It might even work better. It's just a little thicker, so it's kind of hard to get it started, but... Yeah, I mean, you can try that. It's not the greatest, in my opinion. I'd rather use this, just because it's a little easier, and it's a little easier to crack it. Once you got in there, though, and there's a lip, so you're not going to hit any rubbing cables going into this unless, like, you break that lip in there, which that would take a pretty good amount of force. It's a little harder to do this, too, because I'm watching watching this camera, making sure I'm in focus, but also the uh, earbud itself is, as it cools down, that adhesive gets a little harder. That's all right. We're going to go on the other side now. Because me. Sorry for being quiet, I'm just trying to focus and make sure I split this right. Because you kind of don't want to mess this up. Like I said, these are my personal <laughs> earbuds, so I really don't want to mess these up. See that though? We're getting there. Alright, now with that popped open a little bit, feeling a little more confident. Okay, there we go. You can even you probably even heard that. Whoop. That adhesive starting to go. There it goes. So see how it closes back up? That's all right. You just want to find that seam and then start popping that way. Don't go crazy with it though. You don't want to break your plastic case. That's what I'm trying to do right now is not, it's just a little bit of force and a little, and it just, it takes time. It takes time and it's hard to do because it's, you know, they're expensive. Don't want to mess it up, mess them up. There we go. All right. And so I'm holding this so it's just I'm can I have good control over it. I can maneuver this as I need to. All right. So I've got one half of it open. Take that plastic tool. Just stick that in there. Just hold it. Now I'm going to take this guy, like I said, it's a little thicker, so it can be useful once you've got this kind of started. I'm kidding. <laughs> this thing's being a pain. All right. They made it easy, though. I wouldn't make a video about it. Okay. Just keep going, and it just easy does it. There we go. Yeah, and I heard it. Now, this is the part where you want to be delicate. So as I open this up, one, if you got there, congratulations. This is by far the most tedious part. It takes forever. It's kind of annoying. And, well, quite frankly, it's just no fun. <laughs> 
Or, but once you're through this adhesive, wipe your hands off, reset, be proud of yourself for a minute. All right. So we're gonna take this, open that up. Now, do not rip these open. If you go ripping these open, there is a ribbon cable in here and you might be even be able to see it. Should be able to. See that ribbon cable packed up in there? Now, I don't know what those boards do, but I'm guessing one of them does most of the logic. That's my guess. So what I'm gonna say, what I would say is when you go to open this up, just be careful, nice and slow. Let's see, you'll see right there. It's a little hard, but let me get a light in there for you. So you see that board, see that board right there? That right there is what we do not want to go rip it apart. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little plastic spudger. I knew I was forgetting the tool earlier. You can deal with the metal spudger though and it'll be all right. Now once we've got it open like this, let me try to angle my light a little bit. And now you just want to, oh, I'm happy to not pop these off without you guys seeing. Okay. Where did I set that dang plastic spudger at? I spend more time looking for tools than I do actually fixing stuff, but that's not, that's normally how it goes, even if you plan for it. Man, I don't know where I have that thing at. It must have been dropped somewhere. I don't know. All right. Well, I've got a backup handy that should be adequate. Or I bet you said in the drawer. Nope. Don't. <laughs> it's all right. reason why I'm being picky about these tools, by the way, is because this board is pretty important, but we should be able to just get that in there, take it, and then just twist. Real gentle, nice, easy. Don't go forcing it. You don't want to do that. And that's all it takes. All right. Now you got the clamshell part. This is where things get a little tricky. Now I'm really, really actually kind of needing that plastic board piece. Well, I was hoping it was in my chair, wasn't That's okay. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> so this guy right here, take him over here. Not even going to need to do anything until you're doing your reassembly. All right. So here's where things are going to get a little interesting. This guy right here. So this ribbon cable, don't know what it does. Best thing is don't tear it. Probably will never ear, but it'll probably never work again if you do. Um, that's my guess. That's how I treat it. Ribbon cables are normally really important. So I try to take them pretty seriously whenever I do encounter them. So what we're going to do, take this. Just do a pop. Just be easy with this, especially if you're using metal tools like this, guys. Don't don't go crazy, because it's real easy to tear these. I've torn them before. I work in IT and I've torn them before working on laptops, all kinds of stuff. It's just you don't know it, and you're looking at it, and then one second, and then it's split. All right. Focus. I need them to see this part. Okay. 
that was perfect right there okay now you're just gonna take that grab gentle I know you're probably a little nervous I was nervous too the first time I did this and just work it out easy easy does her you don't want to go ripping on this thing too hard and don't clamp too hard either that's something else I did caught myself doing you need just enough to pull this out you're just trying to negotiate here pull the board back a little bit see what I'm doing with my hands see that one side isn't wanting to go so what we're gonna do is take that make sure this is all the way up and again it's all about being patient I'm trying to make sure I got this in a good way to see I guess it just really likes this angle for whatever reason. That's all right. And again, you're just pulling on this slowly. See, now it's starting to come. Now you're just going to keep going a little bit, little bit. Go easy. Man, see, I, I hate doing these. <laughs> they make me so nervous because I know how important they are and how much they do. Oh, there we go. That's like a million bucks. So just lift up, see how I'm lifting? And then just... Keep on wiggling it out. Nice, easy, slow. Now see this one tabs up here, stuck. So what we'll do, get that over there, push on it just a little bit. You want to straighten it back out. You don't want to push it out on that tab. Just You just want to straighten it back out. Now I'm going to go underneath here. And see, these things are just paper thin. Yeah, see, it's that last corner. It's just hanging. But, again, it's important. Stop, take a break. Realize what you're doing. Make sure you look at this thing a little bit better than just pulling on it. Sometimes it's a little more than that. It's not always. The other one was a little more. The, comp the other one was a pain, too. But, I think I see why. It's just important. These little guys are important. You won't get your, your music without them, so... So what I'm doing here is taking this bottom piece, I'm going to slide it in between the two boards, or between this ribbon cable and the board, just easy, and lift up a little bit and shift. See how that's wanting to come out now? You can pull on these things all day and twice on Sunday, but sometimes it's just all about how. So there's not really a good way to grab this. So we'll go in from here on the bottom. We're just gonna roll it back. Oh, there it goes. Just keep it going easy, wiggling left to right. That's your friend. That's what's gonna keep you from tearing this thing. Come on.
you see that right back into that same corner just keep working it it's important that you take your time and you just you don't want to mess these up right so it's what we're doing here boom all right we are in 26 minutes but we we did we made it all right by far most stressful part we are over <laughs> thankfully all right so this is the we are not out of the woods yet, but we're getting there. We can see light now. So, in the center of this little guy right here, dead center in this board, there is a contact pad. That contact pad is very crucial to how this earbud will work. Well, actually, no. It, it literally will not work without it. You have to have this compact, contact pad. It is probably... I, I, could, I can't give you a good reference, but we'll see it here in a second. This contact pad, if you tear tear this, we're going to lift this up here, right? Just from right here. If you tear this contact pad off, it is bad. You don't want to do it. However, if you do, I have a fix for it. But first, we're going to try to do it without tearing that contact pad off. So I'm just going to take this battery. Now, this has got adhesive, but like I said, you don't have to use crazy specific tools for this i mean you can you, i could heat it up with the heat gun but i'm not gonna do all that the thing is is when you go in this go in slow see how i'm just wedging this in here that's what you want to do don't go in the center though if you go in the center like i did it will break that little pad and when it does you won't have any music when you plug this back in because the circuits are completed and that's okay so we've got that now see that now for reference we've got here that contact pads probably right here down in the center so we're going to go down this other side break up this adhesive over here like i said slow easy does her and we just want to pop that board out just nice nice easy Okay, so I've got my finger underneath this. I'm gonna leave this guy here. And we're gonna set this here. And now we're gonna take this. Let me try to see if I can give you a better angle. And just put that in there. I can't get, that's okay. Hold on. We'll take this and I'm just gonna roll with it. Alright, so we'll take this, make sure you're not going to, you know, this ribbon cable, again, same thing, don't go pushing too hard with one of these picks, it can punch through that cable, you don't want to do that either. Alright, so we just broke through that adhesive on the right side. So all we have is the center adhesive left. This is going to be a little tricky, but I think we can just pull, start pulling up. We just want to be really gentle with what we're doing, because they, these they're real small pieces of technology, and these little pads are very small too. So you just want to ease... And you can slowly see that adhesive starting to break and just nice and easy. Okay, so I can see the board. This came up quite a bit. That's good, but we still want to try to go to this other side. Same thing, just a little bit. You don't need to go in there too hard. If you do, you're going to break that tab and we're about done. Making sure none of my stuff on YouTube starts playing. Okay. Alright, so we're going to take this. And then just maybe pivot a little bit. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to keep this in. It's hard to work when on such a tiny thing and also... Make sure your hands don't move too much. So, 
back in here. Same thing working that adhesive out there. There's the pit coming through. And you just kind of want to scrape it out just a little bit. And see, I felt that little piece of metal in there. Now, if you go, like I did on the other one, you go on too fast, get too excited, you're like, oh, finally, I got to this stupid thing. Yeah, you'll end up breaking it because that little tab in there. Now, it's not the end of the world if you do, but it's okay. We'll get there in a second. So, I'm watching it and see that back end. Yeah. Can't see it too well on camera, but that's okay. I can show you in a second. Ooh, yeah. All right. So, that board had a little bit of flex, but that's okay. We're just going to keep working her out. Right there. Now, see, I might be, I'm not even, I'm still not in the center. I'm only on the outside. You only want to do this on the outside. You just want to keep pushing out just gentle enough to where that adhesive just kind of rolls back on its own. You'll see what I'm talking about. I don't know if I can. It's so hard to show because this lighting is upside down, but. Sorry if it looks a little weird. This is important enough to mess up the video a little bit here. There it goes. See, there's that adhesive strip coming back. Now. Now I'm going to set this down because I don't want to strobe everybody to death. <laughs> and this adhesive is pretty strong, as you can tell, because my these are stuck. So we're going to come back in here. Boom. All right, we're free. Now we'll just go in here with our hands and just peel the rest of this off because this isn't too much. That's enough to wear. If you feel a whole lot of resistance with these, it's it's expensive enough to just, you know, take it on the safe side, err on the side of caution. Boom. All right. Now, here's where we get to the business side of things. Lift this. Oh, sorry. We'll lift that up. Okay. So, if you have an earbud and it doesn't turn on and you can't see what's going on with it, this piece right here, it's going to take a second to zoom. I'm going to zoom in on it for you, even. That guy right there. That is exactly why it won't start. So not, not the whole metal bracket. That little tiny tab gets in contact with that battery. So if you put it back together and charges kind of, but you get no sound, can't hear anything. That little piece right there, nine times out of 10, that's why. If you can't get it to work, and this is, I was just reading about it on Reddit, um, but and then I just tried it and it works fine. If for whatever reason you break it off, I broke mine off, go through, take the adhesive off of there. Once that adhesive is off, all this stuff right here, take that, pull it off, and that should get you enough contact to where it will work fine. Um, with that being said, we're gonna take this little battery out real quick and put in our new one. So this thing, so these have neodymium drivers in them very strong magnets very very tough to pull these guys out but you definitely want to try to be as gentle like I said time and being gentle is really going to be the thing that makes sure that this repair goes the way you want it to Now, didn't break anything, but cracking noises can be good things. It can sometimes be very bad things. That's why we, we're going to go through and make sure that we're pulling these out. And so, just to point out, I was not pivoting 
with the earbud case you can see there's no marking there I was using my thumb and pivoting off of that just to give me the added bit of leverage that there I think there is some adhesive on the bottom so this is a little harder but yeah that's exactly what it was that bottom adhesive but again if you hear noises like that don't you know don't keep going just take a second and reevaluate make sure you're not tearing nothing up because I've done that plenty of times it's fun but fixing it isn't <laughs> and so there she goes yeah see and you'll see it right there there's a little bit of adhesive if it'll focus on it yeah you can see it right there yeah that right there And so you see that white little driver piece, but that's okay. Now, we're just going to use our hands. Pull it straight out. Boom. All right. Got here. Haven't broke anything yet. Great job. You did better than I did. <laughs> so we're going to get go ahead and take this guy here. Pop this in and... Hopefully we should be good to go. All right. Now this is a Zenny. So for the WF F1000 XM4s, you're gonna need the Z55 uh, lithium ion 3.85 0 0.29 kilowatt. Uh, no, not kilowatt. Sorry, watt hour. <laughs> 0 0.9 watt hour. Um, again, the time. <laughs> it's pretty. I'm pretty tired. So. That'll be your guy right there for your replacement. And this is how complicated it is to put that in there. For, so he said, uh, I watched it on the video, negative side is coming to be facing you, the best way to put it. Take that, won't sit flush, that's okay. So you're just gonna ease that in there and then just Make sure she, everybody's sitting pretty. You know, we don't need to you just push it down. You don't need to go ram in it or nothing. Just It's all about being gentle on these guys because these cables and everything is so small. It's so sensitive. And it's just, it's a pain to work around and it's kind of frustrating. But it is worth it because these are very, very good earbuds. Now... Something fun to know is the the newer ones, the XM5s. Uh, these are the batteries are soldered on the board. They also have a lot of the same problems. So I uh, you ain't gonna be catching me upgrading anytime soon because at least I can service this myself. So that and uh, you know whopping fourteen dollars in eBay batteries. <laughs> so now it's gonna be pretty pretty straightforward here. Take this and then we'll go through here. Well, we're going to pull this out just a little bit. Pull this ribbon cable out so you can just take this guy. Make sure you've got good contact. It's not back quite back on yet. Make sure your ribbon cable stays clear and then just push this down just enough. And be careful not to hit that. You know, hit your little uh, black tab that you had lifted up. And again, you've got most of, if you've got most of your adhesive on, let it do the work. If you don't have the adhesive on and it feels loose, that's okay. When you put it all back together, it'll it should tighten back up. Okay. So, all right, the battery's installed. Now, put the earbud back together. This is actually the easiest part. <laughs> so take this ribbon cable. You just want to bring him on down. I didn't say, oh, because I messed something up. I just realized you guys cannot see it. So you'll, I'm going to actually just do it with these because it'll be easier for you to see. See how it catches in there? Just real fine. Real, and again, gentle. We're, we're almost done. Ain't no sense in rushing now. See, these cables are 
they're paper thin and you know ribbon cable and all that but still just I'm going to use my thumb here and hope that you can see it but I really want to get these in and it's not worth risking it okay I've got it just about in now take that Oh, I said I got it just about in and it popped back out because that's how it's got to work. It's okay. It means I can show a better shot of this. Man, the son of a gun is not wanting to go in. There it goes. Oh, no it doesn't. Okay, and so once it goes back in, which it kind of, it'll just, oh, sorry, you guys couldn't see. Once it goes back in, it'll just pop right in and slide nice, easy. Don't got to do nothing crazy with it. Don't got, do you don't even need a push on it. Make sure you got your black little connector right there. Take that guy. Make sure it clamps down. You see, this isn't going down all the way, which is okay. I just want to make sure that this is fully seated because you don't want to really force anything with these guys. You just kind of want to be easy with them. Nice, all right. Now I'm pretty confident that this is down. Boom, all right, we're flat. Oh, all right, now we're at the real complicated bit, not really, putting these boards back together. So they're a little hard to put back together, just like everything else. Not crazy complicated, just a little bit. So you can take this logic board here We're gonna slide this out the way. Logic board here. Take him. I just take this, my you know, my tweezers, pull them out a little bit, boom. Get a finger behind it. Okay. So you've got that matched up. So just a real big expensive Lego piece. Now this is a little heavier. But what you're going to do, man, if I don't stop dropping this thing, <laughs> what you want to do is you're going to want to take that and then you can line it up almost just like you're trying to slot in. I don't even know what would be a good way to make that an analogy with it. It's pretty, pretty hard to describe. But I can show you with this camera. or attempt to. So you see how I'm gonna hold it there. A good way to do it is to take these two drivers, line them up, and once these are lined up, you'll feel it, they'll snap kind of in. I'm, now if you can't see, I'm sorry, I'm just, trying to get this in here myself and it's not e the easiest thing to do at the end but out of everything else we've done this is by far the nicest part So once it's in, 
it's not all the way in yet. I'm risking this for you guys. <laughs> Once it's in, ah, get over here. You'll have something like this where you see how it's just wanting to go. I'm going to push on it. It doesn't want to quite clip, but I can feel it starting to go. We'll come back in here. Take it again. Look at it. And just push gentle. Okay. And so now it's getting back in. That board's not fully back in. You'll hear it click in. But it's just about there. Take that guy and just. And that is in. I heard it click. Okay. You're done. Now. Take this guy, get a good clip, and just start pushing that back in. Now see, there's some, there's some, you know, marks from that. That's okay. To clean them up, I mean, you don't need to do anything crazy. Uh, I'm going to just take it, rub it on my jeans. Maybe take this little iFixit kit, lay it here, and just move some of that extra plastic out. Mm. And again, they're going in your ears, and the part that you're looking at is going to be in your ear. It'd be kind of hard for people to notice it. Um, but, you know, you can use plastic tools. It's whatever you want to do. This is just here for you guys. There you go. I've got it all back together. It took 47 minutes. Um, again, this is the second time I've done this. I'm sorry if there's some rambling and I've lost some things in this video, but <laughs> I did the best I could. So after this, um, once it's done getting worked on, you might have to do a factory reset, uh, restart your phone um, because and unpair it because if it's not unpaired, it won't work. Um, and then restart your phone uh, if it's not if you don't restart it, it'll try to use the other memory settings it had, and it does not like that. Once that's done, um, hopefully everything will work out. Um, if not, and you still can't get any sound out of it, make sure you go check that tab. If that little metal tab that I showed you in there earlier was the issue, go through, take it, pull that adhesive off, and put it all back together. And then once it's back together, hopefully you'll have sound out of it again. You should. If not, well, you might need to go onto eBay. <laughs> um, thank you, guys. Um, sorry if this is a little, I guess, boring. Um, I'm pretty tired. I'm going to still just post this like how it is now because I don't want anything to get lost. I'm going to do my best. I'll still probably like watch through and make sure there's nothing boring. Um, thank you again. And if you guys have any questions, I will be in the comments to help out as best as I can. Um, and please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.